Alas, what are you, after all, my written and painted thoughts? Not long ago, you were so vagrated, young and malicious, so full of thorns and secret spices, that you made me sneeze and laugh. And now, you have already doffed your novelty, and some of you, I fear, are ready to become truce, so immortal do they look, so pathetically honest, so tedious. And was it ever otherwise? What then do we write and paint, we mandarins with Chinese brush, we immortalizers of things which lend themselves to writing? What are we alone capable of painting? Alas, only that which is about to fade and begins to lose its odor. Alas, only exhausted and depleting storms and belated yellow sentiments. Alas, only birds strayed and fatigued by flight, which now let themselves be captured with the hand, with our hand. We immortalize what cannot live and fly much longer things only which are exhausted and mellow. And it is only for your afternoon, you, my written and painted thoughts, for which alone I have colors, many colors, perhaps many vagrated softenings, and 50 yellows and browns and greens and reds, but nobody will divine thereby how ye looked in your morning, you sudden sparks and marvels of my solitude, you, my old, beloved, evil thoughts.